Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. And today we're going to learn ethical hacking by attacking a machine from a website called TriAcme. And I already started this machine, it's called Tech Support One. Here's an IP address after I start the machine. And the first thing that I do is I run an nmap, minus SV, minus SC. I'm not going to do all ports right now, I'm just going to do the top 1000 ports. Let's do a T4 and see what comes up. And NMAP is just going to reach out to this IP address, find out what services are running and what ports they are. In this case, I want service versions. And as soon as NMAP is done, we'll try to see uh, if we find anything interesting on this machine. So after a few seconds here, you will notice that right away, we see a few ports are open, uh, 22, uh, then 80. If I see port 80 right away, I just want to go and check it out because we might be able to get something interesting from this site. So I'll open a browser, visit that. All right, we have the default Apache. So for now, we haven't seen anything interesting. Let's check maybe for robots.txt. All right, so robots.txt is not there. All right, I'll come back to that. So it's a default Apache website. Uh, we have 139 for NetBIOS, then 445 for Samba. So when you see a file share, what do we do? We almost every time try to sign in. Uh, if I don't see anything in the file share, I'll go back to port 80. But for now, let's go to the file share. SMB map. Let's just scan that IP address and see what we find. Okay. So I don't have SMB map. Let's get it installed. All right. So once we store SMB map, let's try to run it again. All right, so SMB map says we have no access to the print and IP, but we do have read only to web server, which is interesting. So let's use SMB client to access that. So we say SMB client minus N, then the two forward slashes, the IP address slash web server like that. Okay, so I can say there. Uh, enter.txt, get, okay. So we store the file from the SMB file. Now let's see what it says. All right, so we have some goals here. People do this all the time where they will put a list for themselves. So make fake pop-up and host it online on DigitalOcean. Okay, this doesn't help us much. Fix Saborian site, slash Saborian, doesn't work edit from panel uh what do you mean so this they're saying it doesn't work edit from panel so if i say panel does it work okay so uh, yeah i guess guess work i don't know uh, i guess go bus would have found this anyway but i put panel here and it works so we need to log in all right i don't have a password yet oh but it's right here Edit WordPress website. So we also have WordPress. So go bus will probably find such WordPress. But for now, I'm just going to go with what's here before I run any tools. Then Saborian creds admin. And okay, we don't have WordPress creds, but we have this Sabrion. What is this? Let's go to Cyberchef. Okay. So input, output from base 58. So 50, base 58 doesn't work. Okay, let's put all of them. Can I do a base 32? Base 64. Okay, so I just um, dragged all these base stuff and now I have scam 2021. So I was just doing trial and error here as you saw me doing. And this is a good way, if, especially if you don't know what you're doing with the hash. So scam2021 is the password. So we're going to copy that and say admin. Scam2021. Let's see if we sign in. And boom, we're in. So it's kind of slow, but if you look all the way to the left here, where my mouse is, it says subquery on cms 4.2.1 that's the name here right here 
So we have a CMS and a version. We call our good friend search exploit. Search exploit should give me something if there is an exploit. All right. I see that file upload RCE authenticated. I am already authenticated. That's interesting. It is the same exact version. So I like this. Minus M. Is it M for copy? Yes. All right. Let's move, move that to exploit. All right. Let's edit that exploit. Uh, let's try to see what he's doing here. So it looks like it will upload. It will go to the uploads read.json file and upload in shell for us. Well, this is nice. All right. So according to our exploit, to run it, this is the usage. We need to call Python, the exploit.py minus u for the, in the URL, then give it credentials. We can be prompted or we can just uh, put the credentials for ourselves. So that's how we're going to run it. So we say Python 3 minus u, uh, no, minus u, HTTP. You know what? Let's just get the full URL here from here. Okay. So once we do that, we can say minus L admin minus P. Okay. So that's the usage. Let's see if it works. Says success. Trying to log in. Let's see if it actually succeeds. All right. So we're in. Who am I? www.data.ls pwd Okay, so the upload actually is in this location here via HTML Siberian uploads. So we can do the same by hand, but for now, since we have an exploit that works, um, let's see if we can actually just gain root access quickly here. In our enter.txt here, it says that there's WordPress creds. So usually when I get in as WW data and I'm aware that there is WordPress, what I'll do is I'll just go and say, okay, I'll go to this location here and see if I have a WordPress site or is this the WordPress site? This is where web websites live. I say ls. What's happening here? So var www. Okay, so for whatever reason, this thing is not working. Uh, I can stabilize this shell, and I'm seeing that I uploaded this gibberish file here, .phar. So I'm going to do this by hand now that I know where this is. So if I go here, I think I should be able to find the uploads location that we are uploading to. So if you go to content, uploads, we should be able to see the same file that we saw in our home directory. If this actually works so let's give it a second okay so this random string here i see gw whatever that is it's the same thing that we saw right here so what this shows me is i can upload my own file that looks like that and get a reverse show which is nice so in that case i'm going to locate shell.php this is a pentest pen monkey PHP uh, file. I want the one from P um, Pentest Monkey. Okay, I'll do this one. And yeah, put it here. It says PHP reverse show PHP. Let's use nano. And all I want is just change the IP and the port. Okay. Uh, the port is actually fine. So the IP address that I need to put here is my tunnel IP. Turn to this one. Okay, so it's 10.2.58.8.0. Oh, okay, I'll leave port 888 the same. I really don't care about that one. 
Save that. Okay, I like to move that to my downloads. PHP shell dot. Uh, instead of saving it as dot PHP, I remember I need to have this dot PHAR. So I'll save it just like that. PHAR. Got permissions for that. Let's go here. Let's upload a file. How do we do that? Um, is it this? Select files. Drag and drop or select files. So I'm hoping. Okay, there's select files. Downloads. There it is. Open that. Okay. So now that it's in here, I need to start my listener. Okay, so forget this one. Net. I need to start now say netcat minus LV and P eight 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 eight. That's my port. While I'm listening, how do I trigger this? Get info. Link is right here. So let's click on the link. It's hanging. That's always good news. And boom, we got a shell. So let's try to fix this shell here using Python again. And this time it should work since we triggered it ourselves. All right. So we should have done it by hand anyway, manually. Okay. Color, okay, ls. So pwd. Okay. So now we should go to cd slash var slash www. Let's see what's in there. So the HTML. Okay. So I do have the index to the HTML. This is the one that we had. Here's another test. But we have a WordPress. WordPress is known for having the password anyway. All right. So we're in WordPress. Um, wbconfig.php. This is the one that we are interested in. All right. So in here, what we are really after is the username and password. So it's usually somewhere in here. So here's the database password. Copy that and save it somewhere so I can actually keep it. All right. Once you find password, the first thing is um, password reuse. CD slash home. Who do I have here? So I only have one user. Scam site. Okay. I'll try to reuse the password that I found in WP config because people are very uh, kind of said that way. All right. As you can see, it actually works. Sudo minus L. Okay. We know that we have this. I curve here, so I need to do first go to GTFO GTF beans. You will notice that we do have um, I curve, and all the way down here, we can set the file to read. Let's just read root.txt because why not? So it's root root.txt. Okay, now I need to say sudo I call conv I believe then point to this and paste we should be able to read that file and bam we got our root flag we can also read Etsy shadow and crack the passwords if we have to. But for now, let's verify that we actually succeeded in getting the correct flag. All right. So it said we succeeded. So that was how we solved the machine. Very easy and straightforward. 
I hope you learned something today. If you haven't, please remember to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.